acidosis and, and, and really make, giving them a tummy ache. So we just took delivery of uh, 31 tonne of pellets, DDG pellets they are, and we had to tip some on the on the ground here because they wouldn't all fit in the silo because we couldn't get all the um, all the barley out of that silo yesterday. So we just had to tip some on the ground. I'm just going to bucket some into some some of these lick feeders and um, put them in with the lambs. We'll um, we'll put a, we'll make a bit of a ration up once we've got this stuff off the ground, I think, um, and they're eating the pellets. So what we got here, this is a lick, this is called a lick feeder. We use these a lot, we got a heap of them down there. We use these a lot during the, um, during the drought when we were containment feeding sheep. This is the plan to, to put this in with the, with the lambs that we're gonna feed lot that we don't have a paddock for. Um, but I just gotta clean out all the stuff in the bottom, but you can see you can adjust it so that um, it only lets, lets a certain amount of feed out. What I mean by a lick feeder is that um, the sheep the sheep have to lick lick for their feed, and um, that causes that that stops them from sort of pigging themselves and and you know like acidosis and 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 really make, giving them a tummy ache. These fellas will start licking at this, and when they start licking, see it just keeps falling down there, a little bit at a time. They're pretty hungry, so they haven't actually had these pellets before, but they've been on the barley. I've been feeding them barley, just trail feeding. And um, so now I've just put it next to the loose in here. We'll see how long it takes them to get on this. I'd, I'd, I'd say not very long once they get a taste for these pellets. They're pretty sweet, so they'll they'll love it, I think. So another really important aspect of of well raising growing stock really is is water quality. So we've got to try and keep this pretty clean. So I'll probably empty the, empty this out nearly every day. Also because the cockatoos sit in the trees here and then they poo in it, which doesn't help. So this is bore water uh, that comes from the, sh the little shed up near the machinery shed there and it, it, um, it's pretty good, good water, the, the sheep really like it. It's a lot better than the dam water that we've got. The dam that it, that, that it comes from is a bit dirty and it's just not, not as clean and the sheep don't seem to like it as much, which is fair enough.
I'm just going to run a little bit of um, barley that's in this trailer out around the feeder there. Because um, obviously some of them won't know or won't be as, as you know, some of them won't, won't get on that feeder straight away. So I'll just try and encourage them and get them, get them around the, the feeder there and, and sprinkle a little bit of barley on top of the pellets too. Um, and that way they know the smell of the barley and they know that that's food. But it'll just take them a little bit to, to get onto the, to the pellets, that's all, for some of them. Not all of them, obviously. There's a heap they're eating now, but... And they'll probably teach the other ones to eat too, but I'll just run a bit of feed out there. They're calling for a bit of feed there, so... So most of them are eating, I think. We'd know we'd know by now if they weren't. We did pull a couple out just because they whether they got a gut full the first day or something, we pulled two we pulled two out, so but I think the rest of them are eating. So you can see what I mean about um, them not really being big enough. They need they need a really good um, source of feed to to get them up to where they need to get to be. So, and we just don't have the the grass, the good quality grass to do that, which is why we've opted to to just put them in a feed lot. It's one of the most satisfying things, I reckon, listening to sheep eat. It's a happy sound. So there's a few first cross. First cross lambs in here, bought Lester over Merino. And then there's a few there's a few second cross lambs as well, which is um, the first cross, yeah, polled also over the first cross you first cross weather lambs I should say. But anyway guys, I'll I'll keep you updated on how these are going. I'll do a bit of a more of a what what we're actually feeding them in a in a future video. We just had to put these pellets somewhere. Um, just because the silo filled up this morning. But yeah, they'll they'll get a mix of barley and and these pellets so these pellets are really high in protein i think it's 18 percent protein i think they are might be a little bit more even i'll have to i'll put it here somewhere what it is but and the, then the yeah the barley's got all the energy in it but yeah the only trouble we're going to have is we don't really have a a mixer mixer wagon or anything we've sort of got to do it by or oh, by hand sort of we've got a we've got a, a feeder on the front end loader that we'll be able to to sort of put the barley in and then have the auger into that silo of the pellets and and mix it that way um it's just not something we we have at the moment and but um anyway guys i think that's going to be the end of another video i think the video um of the potty lambs has sort of been out for a couple of days i've had a bit of a look at the names but if you haven't go check that one out and i'll and i'll decide on a name by the by the next video so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed that one and and with that, we'll catch you in the next one. Alrighty, see ya. Bye. Ready for more?